So good afternoon from Preston New Road. I don't normally film on a Sunday and this is our activist hub. So uh, this is where the protectors come, local residents uh, to Maple Farm, PR4 3PE on Preston New Road. That's the A583. Now normally we don't film uh, because this is where a lot of planning takes place. Um, but in order to balance out the fact the last few days have been quite tense and stressful and violent i thought it might be a good idea to show that you don't have to be involved in that side that if you want to come down and can lend your services in our kitchen in our art tent um, in the tech tent help with media that we need you here you don't ever have to go and be part of um you know the actual protection at the site you know that if you're disabled if you're elderly if you have concerns that you can start your journey into activism here um, so this is the entrance. I'm going to take you. I've cleared with everyone here mostly uh, that we can show them. So um, this one-off live stream is just to show you a quick walk around the site. So as you come into Maple, we now have a beautiful community kitchen, a lovely dining area. And on days like this where we recover, this is where we come uh, to share meals and to create art and all these lovely people who you'll more ordinarily see at the gates, as we call them, the gates to hell. And then here is the incredible kitchen, brilliant hygiene, great food, all fresh, nutritious, vegetarian and vegan food. It's easier because it doesn't go off. Brilliant cooking facilities. You could also always do with donations of good quality, vegetarian and vegan food. But well, it's just a really good insight into the types of things that we do when we're not having run-ins with trucks and police. It's amazing what um, was pulled together here, thanks to the amazing people at Frack Off and Reclaim the Power who work together with the local groups, local residents to pull together this amazing kitchen. Ooh, that looks like good coleslaw. Oh. Hi, ladies. Hello. I'm really looking forward to that. Ooh, I think I have to eat one of these while I'm filming. It just looks so yummy. Mm. Oh, that was stupid. I thought I'll eat one of these while I'm filming. I and remember I'm speak. talking. Yeah, that'll probably be good for the listeners. <laughs> okay, so around this corner... We have the incredible wash-up area. Today is legal observer training and banner making, as well as various meetings for direct actions uh, that will take place in various places. <laughs> and look at the art. This was... Um, this is the... Uh, Hey, Caleb. This is the polytunnel. And uh, usually the polytunnel is just a growing place where John Tootle um, does his business from. But look at what they did. They made it beautiful with the roses of Lancashire. This is beautiful art done in wood. You've got to look at the workmanship here. Incredible. That's stunning. And in here is our, our cafe. Uh, just to remind, although we don't normally live stream from here because this is where conversations take place that we'd rather not share, um, that we've made a special dispensation today because there's been a lot of hard stuff to watch on the videos. And it's nice to see that it isn't all that and that you can still come down and be a part of this and help us. Who bought a fridge? Open up the fridge for me, love. I'm doing filming. Lovely. Look at that. Yay. It's so nice to be civilised and have a fridge. <laughs> uh-huh. Hello. I'm live streaming. Go away, go away. <laughs> oh, no, she's got on film. Hi, Hi, uh, how are you doing? Well, we're not really supposed to film in the activist <laughs> hub, but there's been so much violence the last few days on the videos. 
Yeah. It's really nice mm. to show people they can be involved without being involved in that. That we still need people in the kitchens and in the art tent and planning and legal observing and stuff. And so you hope that people who would be... I mean, I'm too timid to jump on top of a truck. I'm not jumping on a truck. No, I watched that guy do that yesterday, <laughs> on Friday, rather. <laughs> and, I looked, and I looked at him in the seconds before he did it. Rest. And then realised, yeah, and realised how, how did you feel in that second before you leapt, when you had oh, literally 80 odd police running at you, yeah. and there's a truck moving, and, and, and all around you is mayhem, and yet still you jumped, still you did it. Ah, oh, just incredible, takes my, my breath away. I'm so in awe. This is um, beautiful artwork, but very beautiful, Anna. The stuff doesn't make itself. If you have artistic tendencies, if you're a poet, if you're a writer, if you're an artist, come on down. If you're a cook, if you're not a cook and you can just chop a carrot, come down. If you can serve a cup of tea or coffee, that'd be great. As you can see we have a um, volunteer board. And we're still looking to fill kitchen time urgently. I'd say kitchen is one of the most important things we do. It's an info tent as well, so, uh, you know, it's good for getting the final details if anybody needs them. You know, even if you don't want to, if you can't spare the time and you can't help, just come down, get informed, tell us you care. And everywhere you look, there are little hives of activity and people trying their best to talk out ways, plan ways that they can deal with us. So yeah, so if you're wondering if there's a place for you in this movement, I'm going to say there is. Communication center, where the media goes on. In here. You okay with filming? Yeah? You okay with filming, love? Yeah. Some artwork here, a little girl called Lulu came in, she's going to make a lovely snake. Normally you see this chap on a bicycle. Hi, Kevin Zeus. Good to have you on the stream. Been too long. That was absolutely beautiful, thank you. thank you. And there's always room for musicians here too. Every form of art. Over here, huddle, planning and hope. No, that's right, that's right. All right, sweetheart. <laughs> what are you rattling for? Donations. Just take, yeah. just and this will be the first aid tent. So for any medical issues, we have a tented off area. So you can come and get some healing. This is the outdoor art zone for the children and, and the grown-ups. Here we have a bank of four toilets, including a disabled one. 
you go right ahead, sweetheart. You probably don't want to be filmed going to the loo, though, so I'll be moving along now. Over here is the healing yurt. Uh, <coughs> our meditative space. Uh, set up by the amazing Jewel, who actually built the yurt herself. Helped by Ruth Owen, who did the repairs. Just to come in here, it's a sacred quiet space. So beautiful to be in here. So beautiful. When we opened this up, there were about, I don't know, maybe 20 of us crammed into this in circles. And uh, this, this is amazing. Oh, I remember this. Oh, when we did uh, Nana Camp, oh, I could cry remembering this one. Uh, when we did Nana Camp in 2014, oh, one of the days we had all the kids and everyone come and do handprints. Oh, it was a beautiful sign. So nice to see it back. So many points of beauty here. Like I said, you know, the last few days you'll have watched a lot of violence, a lot of mayhem and a lot of crazy, you know. And you can't live your life at that peak. You have to find your ways to soothe. And as activists, we are a diverse bunch, to say the least. And, uh, you know, oftentimes we don't all see eye to eye. But deep down we all need each other more than we need anything else on this planet. And so we find our ways to get past those issues because we need to support each other. I know today I arrived and I was quite, um, I know I think the last few days have been quite emotional. I'm just gonna take you through now. So this is Maple Farm where we are. And now I'm gonna pass through the gate that we don't normally open into this beautiful field, uh, which is our overflow camp now because there are so many people coming up for July. So bring a tent, you'd be very welcome. It's private land, we're welcome here. And uh, there's no risk of eviction on this site. And there's no risk of eviction at Hope site either, I don't believe. Um, up by the gates, that's a different story. It's a different world. What I'm trying to encourage with this video is that don't be put off and imagine you have to jump on a truck or shout at police officers. You know, there's other ways to help and we need everybody here. You know, July is a big month and we have to fill it. We have to feed many. And we need people in our kitchens more than anywhere. And I promise you would be so welcome and you would get so much out of this because when you sit down and you share food, time and energy with people like this, you come away realizing that humanity is well worth fighting for. So this field, <laughs> I love the way this van has now just been eaten up by nature because it's ceased to work as a van. It's now just a sleeping pod and uh, nature's taking bits of it back. So that's a workshop marquee there. Uh, this is a quiet camp though because uh, you'll notice just over here uh, is a residential area called Carbridge. And so we have a strict rule here that there is nothing goes on in the evening here. It's just a sleeping place. During the daytime though, of course, workshops can happen, but it's a very quiet place. This is a well-being tent. So you come inside. This is where you come for an afternoon nap just to get away, very quiet, not near anywhere. Welcome to the well-being space. Please use it as a quiet space to relax, not a social space. No sleeping overnight, no smoking or vaping. Let's make the whole camp a good and inclusive space to be. And it really is. I love the pretty of it, though. The fact that people take the time. <laughs> this lampshade's funky. Uh, it's just torn up newspaper. And there is no light. But it's a lampshade nonetheless. And this one actually has a sofa. So, quite an upmarket one. Nanas have started building our own little encampment now, too. So, if I take you down here... I'll see another marquee down the end. And then these tents, primarily in front of us, are nano tents. And uh, we're planning on being here as much as we humanly can. Sadly, I'm away the next two weekends. I wish I wasn't. Um, but I really am glad I am as well because I'm going to Seed Festival with the lovely Louise Somerville. And please be assured, Louise and Seed Festival people, I am coming. I know I'd ever reply to e emails and I'm a bad person. But I really am coming and I'm really looking forward to it. And then the week after, Fractured Psych, uh, which is another important event to go and speak at. Uh, but Nana's will be here in abundance. And I see more tents have sprung up over here as well. So you'd be very welcome to bring a tent. It's a beautiful place to be. The weather looks like it's going to hold out for us. 
I think we're getting uh, water taps coming in here. So there'll be stand pipes. It's a lovely potbelly stove there. You can tell a nana cap. It's always got a little bit of wool somewhere. And so that's the walk around Maple Farm this morning. So the purpose of this, as I say, we don't normally film here. And I asked for special permission to do it because you don't want to catch conversations about planning or anything. But, you know, it's been a, a rough time here. And we've been here for six months. Well, not on this camp, but we've been fighting for six months now. Since January 5th. And we're weary. But we are numerous and equally determined. No matter how weary you get, you're not stopping. You're not going home. You can't unknow the truth of the threat this brings and to go home would be negligent so we're stuck here and we just really need you to come and be stuck with us at least come give an hour of your time to the kitchen you know come and paint a banner bring a tent stay the month you know bring a tent stay the night you having a workshop love i want to, well are you interested in signing our object letters of course i am i thought you might be yes do I take one and then post it off myself, love, or are you posting them? Um, well, if you want to do it now, I'll take them back. Okay, I'll do it because, now, then. Yeah, it's up to you. Right, we're going to end this live stream anyway, so uh, let me just call this to a close. Yeah. We've got two different ones. We've got one for um, Marceline and one for Hartle. Oh, brilliant. Yeah. Are they online as well, love? Uh, they will be, I should imagine. Which group would have those? Any idea? Frack Free South Yorkshire? Frack Free South Yorkshire. So if you go to Frack Free South Yorkshire and you or, find... Or, um, I think you could probably do it straight to the council if you wanted to do an online one, if you've got the planning application numbers. These are objection letters and these are, you know, um, objections to put in. You can find the details and do it yourself. That'd be great too. We know a lot of people can't actually be here in person because... Um, due to disabilities, carer responsibilities, work and family commitments, totally understandable. But you know, on the weekends or after, after work in the evenings, um, they're very welcome, you're very welcome to come down with your children. Okay, what's that? I'm seeing something. Please tell that person not. <laughs> okay. All right, I'm gonna turn this off now because now I'm gonna sign these petitions and we had the walk around. And the purpose being to try and get you to come down here. Morning, Bobby. <laughs> Afternoon. God, I never know what time of the day it is. I don't even know what date. What... I missed the first half of this, too. Yeah, yeah. In Just a... at some point, you have to find sleep, and it's been a long few days. Afternoon. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Shutting off now. Thank you. Please do come down. That's Maple Farm, Absolutely. Preston New Road, the A583 in, in Lancashire, between Kirkham and Blackpool. About halfway down, you'll find the gates to Quadrilla. That's what we call the gates to hell. And then further down, you'll find the divine maple farm and this place of beauty and protectors. And you would be very welcome to join us. See you, I would imagine, late tonight or early tomorrow morning.